Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got Coco with me today and I'm not wearing a cord because we have a dress to unbox today. So I ordered this, I believe in early January. It was a pre-order item for something that I had seen on Devil Inspired, which you should only be using Devil Inspired to see their like catalog of things and then go off to Taobao or Glitzy Wonderland and buy it from there. So it will be a lot cheaper on you. I do recommend using Devil Inspired as a bit of a catalog Obviously, I don't recommend purchasing from them directly because of how much they charge, as I mentioned in my video on where not to buy Lolita from, but they tend to list a lot more items than other sites. Like, I noticed things that are on Devil Inspired are not always on Glitzy Wonderland or My Lolita Dress, Lolita Wardrobe. For whatever reason, it just seems like Devil Inspired has everything. But I did see this item on Devil Inspired, and I thought that it was so gorgeous. I immediately, the next day, the very next day, I found out what Taobao shop it was in and I pre-ordered it right away. And this is actually a Chi dress. Chi Lolita is actually my favorite style of Lolita. It's like Chi and Gothic. It probably sounds very funny because I don't really wear a lot of Gothic. I actually have like one Gothic dress and it hasn't even gotten here yet. But I do have a couple of Chi dresses. I've worn Chi for my birthday, wanted to go out to dinner with my sister and my dad, and wanted to go out with our mom, and I wore Moon Shadow to go out with my mother, and I wore Fantastic Night by the River of Sakura, which is currently my favorite dress to uh, dinner with my father. And so I do like Chi a whole lot. A lot of people are a bit wary of Chi because Chi and Wa because they say the style can be very difficult if you're new to Lolita, which I do think is true, but I do wish more people would not be so afraid of it, you know, because, you know, the less people like hear about it, the less people want to wear it. And that's, you know, kind of sad. As someone who likes Chi, I don't really see it a whole lot, but let's go ahead and unbox the dress so i've taken our items out of the box here i actually ordered the jsk as well as the accompanying blouse i think with she getting a matching blouse like a chongsem style blouse is a good idea simply because usually she looks best with those type of blouses it doesn't always look good with a standard like maybe sweet or gothic blouse sometimes it does but if you're someone who's just getting into chi or wa i recommend if there is a matching blouse to try to get it if you're concerned about looking Ita in any way because you're not really used to Chi or Wa, the accompanying blouse can definitely help you in that it essentially goes with the dress so no one can really call you Ita if you're wearing the blouse that goes with the dress. So let's look at the dress first. Alright, so here is the dress. So there is this bow that goes on the waistline or the top of the dress. I guess you can put it anywhere, honestly, that goes uh, on the dress. I'll put a picture of it right here to show you where it goes in the photographs. but. This is nice. I guess you could also, if you would like to, wear this as a hair accessory. Um, I definitely do think that Chi and Wa look the best with wigs if you don't have long hair. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I actually recently ordered some wigs, so hopefully I can wear this when those come in. But let's look at the dress. So it does have some corset lacing in the back of it, and it does have a tiny bit of shearing, not a whole lot. It is a bit stretchy though, a tiny bit of stretch though, so make sure you're paying attention to the measurements. Um, I don't know if I got a small or an extra small, but it's usually what I get. I don't see the tag on here showing what size I got, but not all that important. But here she is. There's this thing that I have to remove, so let's not pay too much close attention to that, but let's look at the dress. So there she is. As soon as I saw this dress, I, I had to have it immediately. The cranes, I love the cranes on the dress. I actually don't know what the official name of this dress is. Devil Inspired seems like they literally Google translated it and posted the Google translated name because it does not make a whole lot of sense. I'm personally calling this dress Phoenix Time Travel or Time Travel Phoenix. Something of that nature because the way they posted it on their site. It, it doesn't seem as though it's a real English sentence, so I don't know how that really works, but I'm calling it Time Travel Phoenix or something of that nature. If I can find an actual, like, legitimate name for it, I'll try to post it on the screen somewhere or in the description, but if I can't find a name, that's just what I'm going with, and I'll link the dress, of course, on the Taobao shop, so if you're interested in it, you can check it out yourself. But again, I just... Love these cranes. I love the colors as well. It's probably very hard to see on the screen. So when I do my um, up close little mini review of it, you can see it there, but it's just these lovely little blue colors. There's some white in here, the red. Uh, there's also the red here and the gold. 
it's just such a beautiful, beautiful print on this dress. Not like your standard print, but that's what I like about Chi is that they have these motifs that they use. And I just think that they're super duper gorgeous. So that is the dress. So we're going to try her on in just a second. I am concerned if my hoop skirt is going to be too cupcake shaped for this because usually you want a nice little A-line shape for Chi, but we will see how it ends up looking. This blouse, I believe, came in both white and black. I got it in black because most of my wardrobe is black and I feel like I could probably wear this with uh, any other Chi dresses that I get and it'll work fine. But here it is, it's just a short little blouse with little ruffled sleeves at the end. You can see the little, um, I don't know what the official name for this is, I apologize, but you see this on um, Chi style blouses, Chongsun style blouses all the time. Uh, it's very soft, very comfortable. I I definitely don't think this will be like too troublesome in like hotter temperatures or climates, but do keep it in mind. It, it could be, it could be, it depends, you know? And there's of course this little um, hole right here where this um, clip is. And it appears as though this came with a couple of other items, so let's just take a look at those. So the first item is this little necklace, which I do see in cheap cords a lot. Um, I don't know the specific name of this type of necklace, it's usually like Chi or Hanfu style necklace, but I definitely recommend that if you are buying Chi or Wa for the first time and it comes with like an accompanying necklace like this, that you try to go ahead and pick it up. Because you can use something like this with any Chi cord that you get in the future, you know? A necklace like this is, there's nothing really specific about it linking it to that dress, it's just red and gold and it's a very gorgeous necklace. So if you do, um, if you do have an interest in Chi Lolita or Wa Lolita and there's something that comes with the dress that you can wear with the cord, highly recommend that if it's not too much out of your budget that you try to pick it up and that you can reuse in all of your other cords and you don't have to worry about going out and buying them um, over and over again with every dress that you buy. I do think that they sell these on AliExpress for not too terrible prices, but do remember that what you pay for is what you get on AliExpress. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you are going to buy from there and it's super cheap, it might not be the most amazing quality. But something like this, just getting it with the full set of the dress, the dress was like $67, I believe. I'll put the prices and the links in the description so you'll know how everything, how much everything costed, how much the full set cost. But and I think this, there was even more stuff that came with this. I might have even just got this because I did the pre-order. I'm not completely sure. But this is very, very pretty. This is definitely something that will help accentuate your cord if it's your first time and you don't really have a whole lot of pieces that go with Chi. So I've set that aside and I have opened up the other item, which I'm going to try very hard not to mess up because I believe this is a waist chain that is seen in the photographs of the dress. It is a very pretty gold and red chain. There are some little sakuras right there, see-through sakuras. And again, I'm gonna to have to be very careful with this. I'm probably not gonna put it on right away when I try this dress on in a couple of minutes, but when I cord this for reals, I'm definitely gonna to try to wear this because it looks very, very pretty. I really like the look of this. So I'm just going to set this aside and make sure that it does not get messed up. But that is the full unboxing. Like I said, I'm about to try these on. Um, I'm going to hope that my hoop skirt is not too cupcakey for this because as much as I talk about how much I like hoop skirts because you can adjust them, adjusting them is actually not all that fun, especially since most of my dresses do go with a bit more of a cupcake shape as opposed to an A-line shape. For Chi, you tend to want a bit more of an A-line shape, something a little bit more elegant as opposed to a very cutesy cupcake shape. So I don't really like adjusting it. I hope the shape that I have for it is going to be fine, but give me just a couple of seconds and I will try everything on, except Coco, unfortunately. Uh, Coco is a bit too sweet for this dress, but she will be around to watch. So give me just one second. So here are my post commentary thoughts on the dress. I've adjusted the bow and set it in the center of the dress. I do think that the hoop skirt is a bit too poofy for my taste. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think. But I'd probably try to adjust the top ring to bring it in just a little bit if I were to wear this again in the future. Uh, as for the dress itself, it's very, very comfortable. Uh, I'm trying to show off the print a little bit more here. The sleeves, the adjustments are very perfectly fit for me. The blouse fits very nicely underneath. It is not hot at all, in my opinion. Uh, the dress is very lightweight, actually. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. There is a top layer with the print on it, and underneath there is a layer holding the lace at the bottom. And other than that, I really enjoyed the fit of it.
Make sure that you remember to adjust the corset lacing in the back before trying to put it on because it will be tricky if you forget to loosen those laces just a bit. Thank you guys once again for joining me for today's unboxing, my new chi dress. I hope that if you have not worn chi before and you've had an interest in it, that maybe I was able to provide some tips and insight as to how you can get into it. Certainly this was just a try on experience. If I ever plan to fully court this, I definitely want to get the appropriate wig to wear with it and some hair accessories to go along with it and I think that'll be fun. But I am really loving what I have now, especially the necklace, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to try it out with our little um, waist chain as well. And I love this bow. This bow is a little bit off center. I should probably have it a little bit over to the left. My left, maybe your right. I don't know how this video is gonna look. But uh, yeah, other than that, thank you for joining me for today's unboxing and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.